Hey, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and today we're going to look at how to create classes in the new MQL4 programming language. Um, ever since MetaTrader 4 was updated to build 600 and higher, uh, the programming language has changed and um, uh, classes and other functionality of object oriented programming has been added, which is on one hand a good thing, but on the other hand, um, kind of uh, introduces certain uh, hurdles for programmers and uh, we're gonna overcome them one by one and today we're just gonna look at a simple class in MQL4. So let's get started. Um, this is a meta editor. We're just gonna create a new script quickly. Um, uh, we're gonna call it uh, tutorial one for example. Finish. Um, there it is. On start is um, the new function for scripts, which gets executed as soon as the script is attached to the chart. And um, so we're just gonna uh, create a class, uh, and we'll uh, create a class person. Class person. Um, for that, we have to um, describe what class person is. Uh, we're gonna use the public key here, uh, which means that everything we list below public is going to be available uh, externally. Uh, it's, it's not going to be encapsulated in the class, but um, well, you'll see in a second. Uh, basically, we're going to list some variables here. For example, string name, meaning that the person has a name, and int age. Um, so what, what does this mean? Uh, uh, this uh, structure here means that I would like to introduce a class called person and within this class I would like to have two uh, variables a uh, variable name of the type string and the ver a variable age of the type int and um, uh, basically this means that whenever I declare a person variable uh, uh, sufficient memory will be allocated to this variable to store a um, an, a string and an int together. That's all. That's all it is. Simple as that. Um, now we want to use this class person inside our program. How do we use a class? Um, very simple. It's actually exactly the same as you would um, use a standard um, type. Uh, for example, if uh, whenever I want to declare a variable of type int, what I would, what do we do? We go int, and we say the name of the variable. For example, my integer one, and uh, that's it. That's the declaration of an integer variable. If we want to assign a value to that variable, we say my integer one equals fifteen. For example, so very similar to that we're going to declare a variable of the type person so we're going to say person and as you can see the um, uh, meta editor is uh, already uh, helping me out of uh, is trying to out of field person for me so when i start typing per son it can see that there is a variable of the type person oh sorry there's a class of type person um, then we want to declare a variable of that style, so we're going to say my person one, and that's it. Person is declared. Um, and now we want to initialize a person. Uh, initialization is a bit different, and um, what happens is we have to uh, initialize each of the variables inside the class separately. So we uh, say my person, as you can see. Um, meta editor is already auto filling for us uh, my person one but how do we get to the variables uh, name and age which are actually located within the class person well in order to do that there's a special um, feature in object oriented programming languages and uh, it's called the dot so after my person one we say dot and as you can see meta editor is already picking up the two variables which are located inside um, the class person, which are age and name, and it's uh, suggesting that we choose one of them. And in this case, we're going to say age. Oh, sorry, name. We'll start with name. 
um, and name we're going to call this person John for example um, there we go so that's the first in a variable uh, initialized now we're going to initialize the second one same thing my oh sorry new keyboard my person one dot age equals um, let's say John is 37 there we go so uh, let's just uh, recap this is initialization and this is oh sorry this is declaration this is initialization declaration initialization initialization all right um, so uh, in a similar manner we're gonna create a second person uh, now that we know how to do it, it's gonna be much faster my person two uh, then my person two dot um, and once again a meta editor is picking up the inner variables this is only possible because we have the public key here uh, meaning that these variables are accessible from outside the class um, we'll learn more about what other types of keys uh, are available and why we would want to make some certain um, variables private for example or protected um, but in this instance uh, the public key is sufficient for us uh, and uh, does the job so we're going to call this person Jane and uh, my person to age should be for example 22 and um, so let's check if this compiles this compiles zero errors zero warnings tutorial one um, how can we check this well uh, let's use an alert for example and uh, the alert will tell us uh, um, the values of these variables my person one all right um, so how do we access the name uh, same name to the same way to read the name we access it the same way as as we did when we were writing the name for example here dot name so that that's basically access to the variable uh, regardless of whether you want to read or write um, and then we're going to say age is uh, my person one dot age same thing for my person two Alright, let's see if that compiles. Compiles. Now we're going to go um, to uh, Meta Editor, uh, sorry, Meta Trader, um, and we're just going to see if our script is somewhere here. Tutorial 1, we're going to launch it and see if that gives us any alerts. There we go. So, my person 1 is John, age is 37. My person 2 is Jane, is a and her age is 22. Uh, so, there you go. That was. Um, uh, quite simple. Uh, created uh, we created our first class in uh, MT4 uh, in M in the new MQL4 for build 600 and above. And um, I hope uh, this tutorial was help helpful. And uh, hope to see you on the next ones. Until then, happy coding. Thank you.